you know, we're crying. And I said, boy, just, just stay in there. I had no fears because I knew what God said. I got it. And the Lord was with him. And that was amazing. Within 24 hours, he was given a house to live in and, and stay there. Just miraculous provision for him. I appreciate your prayers for him. That's what we're going to do right now. Because obviously the Lord is anointing him and blessing him. What you see happening to him is so that he can absorb this anointing to carry it back into Japan again. And every once in a while, he's going to be coming back to visit and um, just so that we can keep him charged up and full, because believe me, the land he's in is dark, and there is not much happening there, and it's a dry desert. But the Lord has stored up oil inside of this reservoir. The Lord has stored up the anointing from years. God's been depositing it into this container. And now he's getting a revelation of that stored oil and that treasure inside of him. And soon the day will come that he's going to be able to pour it out on the people of Japan. And it's got to be in the right time, the right strategy, as the Lord so chooses. Because even to do it prematurely could cause disaster. Because there is a great anointing on this boy. I know the Holy Spirit. It's not just because he's my son. You know that God is not into nepotism. You catch revival. You catch the Spirit. And in your children can go to hell if they want to. Even if you are the, the greatest man of God. Because they have to choose it. He's making choices for his life. But I know the Holy Spirit. And I know the anointing. And there is a great anointing on his life. And the time is right and the season is right. He's going to step in there and do some miraculous things. So, Father, we pray for him. And we thank you that you are filling his vessel again tonight. Let the glory of God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, saturate him from the top of his head to the bottom of his toes. Lord, let heaven's fire burn inside of him. Every resistance, everything in him that would slow him down, everything that would weigh him down. Lord, let him be purified. Let the coal be touched to his lips. Let us hear the sizzle of that purity that comes from an encounter with Almighty God as he's learning to trust you and walk with you and hold your hand. Lord, strengthen him. Let him speak. When he speaks, let the glory of God fall in the room. When he speaks, let the tangible presence of God be felt. Lord, whenever he even shares lightly at a coffee table or in a cafe or wherever he goes in Japan, let there be a release of the anointing to bring strength to those that are dying, those that are hungry, even your servants that have been walking in darkness and have not even known that it's possible for God's Spirit to be poured out. They've not even known. They're like those in the book of Acts that say we've not even heard that there was a Holy Spirit. Lord, He can be the one to lay hands on them and impart the anointing and the power of God to bring about a rapid harvest in the land of Japan because the hour has come to that nation and harvest is coming. Harvest is coming to the land of Japan. Harvest is coming of souls. Many thousands and thousands of souls are going to come to Jesus. It's even beginning now, but it will be a move of the Spirit by the mighty power of God. And Lord, let this boy be a part of that. Let this servant of yours be a part of that, a herald and a preacher and a teacher. Lord, let great boldness rise up from inside of him, great compassion well up inside that he would walk in your precepts, your ways, in your spirit, Lord. We pray for him to be protected. We pray that proverbial hedge of protection around him, that wall, that encapsulating presence and that glory upon him. Lord, use him for your glory. We as a church collectively decide to bless him and we pray, God, that we send him out of this place as an agent of mercy and power. In the name of Jesus, bless him. Bless him this night, Father. And all those who agree with me say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord confirms with signs and wonders. He touches. He moves. Uh, we're, we're, we're closing the service now, but we're not closing out a relationship with the Lord. The, the presence of God is here. Uh, just enjoy the fellowship of the Spirit in your midst. If you want to continue to receive, do so. Re